yeah, this is a this is a really neat piece of property. Um, we're actually standing in the middle of a longleaf pine savanna, which, believe it or not, uh, pretty much all of North Carolina, or the majority of North Carolina, as well as right from Virginia all the way through the southeastern states to Texas, used to all pretty much just be miles upon miles upon miles of longleaf pine savanna, just like what we're standing in now. Um, this was the historic ecosystem that used to exist, and the reason why we don't have it anymore, well, there's a lot of reasons, but one of the biggest ones is that this ecosystem is dependent on fire. You actually have to have regular occurrences of fire sweeping through, or this all ends up changing into a different type of forest, like an oak forest, or, you know, we have a lot of, like, loblolly lob pine forests. But the longleaf pine forests that were native to this area have to have fire. And we're gonna actually talk a little bit more about that in a second. When it comes to fire, longleaf pines have got it down pat. A fire can come sweeping through here and you can actually see, like you can see all the soot, that all that black at the base, that's, that's from a fire coming through. That's literally ash and soot from the fire that actually swept over this, this uh, young longleaf pine. And it's fine, it's doing absolutely okay. But that fire did kill um, potential little saplings like young oaks, young maples, and other trees that would have, over time, grown taller, faster, and shaded out this pine so that it wouldn't have a chance to survive. But because the fire came through, the longleaf pine is the, I guess, the king of the forest around here. Um, and there's a lot of a lot of native species that need to have longleaf pine savanna. This this habitat right here, like I said, is what used to dominate the southeastern United States. And um, without without these longleaf pines, without this savanna, those species can't make it. Um, that's one of the reasons why the red cockaded woodpeckers that we can find out here um, are endangered because they need to have the longleaf pine savanna and, uh, and the, the longleaf pines have to have fire. So, it, you know, I think so many of us were taught when, when we were young, you know, Smokey the Bear, only you can prevent forest fires. Um, what they didn't say was that uncontrolled wildfires are definitely destructive and not a good thing, but fires that are controlled are actually vital and essential for some some of our native ecosystems. So um, that's why the, the people who manage this land, um, the Wildlife Resources Commission, they come out here and they plan, they make sure they do it on a specific day when all the weather conditions are right, and they set the, the forest on fire, but they do it in a controlled way so that we can protect the longleaf pines and we can protect the other animals that rely on these trees. If you didn't guess, longleaf pines have really long needles. <laughs> so they kind of almost look, um, from a distance, they look like they would be fluffy. Like, like you just want to kind of hug them and they'd be comfortable. They're not actually comfortable, they're very pokey. But they look like they're fluffy and, uh, and huggable. But yeah, they, look, at these, look at these crazy long needles. It's, it's absolutely amazing how much fire will reawaken this whole plethora of species that that need to have that fresh burn. I'm standing right here and I'm actually on a longleaf ridge and you look 10 feet to my right and you drop down maybe a foot and the, the vegetation is completely different uh, because of the elevation change, the water table. You may be only talking about that much elevation change but you can tell the different plant systems in here, over here compared to over here. And here on the coastal plain, that makes a big difference. <laughs>